next subject we're going to talk about is digital marketing versus traditional marketing. Now, in this video, we're going to specifically talk a lot more about traditional marketing just because we're going to talk a lot about digital marketing later on. But both are very, very important for your business. And I'm going to tell you exactly why you should start doing one before the other and kind of the differences of each. Now, let's start off with talking about digital marketing. So digital marketing is basically any way that you're getting leads post internet era. So that's between SEO and pay-per-click and social media and any ways that you're being able to use the internet to get leads. That's basically what digital marketing is. And if you don't know what all that stuff is, it's okay. We're going to go over all that stuff in these videos. And on the traditional marketing side is things that existed before the internet. We're talking about phone books, yard signs, we've talked a little bit about in the past, billboards, radio, TV. Those are traditional marketing or traditional advertising services. So in this video, again, we're going to talk mainly about traditional marketing. I just want you to know the difference between the two. One, digital marketing is the internet age after the internet and then non-internet stuff. So before internet happened is your traditional marketing. Okay, so let's talk about traditional marketing. Let's talk about, we'll kind of lump this together in TV, radio, and billboards together. I'm not gonna tell you that traditional marketing does not work. There are some areas that traditional marketing works really, really well. My advice to you when you're start, first starting your business is to stay as far away from these as humanly possible. I don't care what kind of deals they think you're giving, they're giving you. I don't care if your brother works at the radio station. I don't care if your first cousin works as a TV anchor and they get you a, a deal. These services are very, very expensive and your return on investment is going to be very, very low when you're first starting your business. And I'm going to explain to you why that is here in a moment. You need to focus all your attention on digital marketing right when you're first starting your business because a lot of it is can be done for free and at a very low cost. Now with traditional marketing, especially your TV, radio, billboards, I do believe that is a great option as your business grows. Once you already have your or your digital marketing in place, you're already showing up on first page of Google on your SEO searches, you're on the map pack, you have pay-per-click, you have a strong social media presence, then you can add in your traditional marketing services afterwards. But at first, you have to get your digital marketing going. Now, some of the other parts of traditional marketing, some people still use phone books, and you might be a contractor that's starting a business right in the middle of nowhere where people still use phone books. I'm not gonna tell you not to advertise in it. I will tell you to wait though and go ahead and start on your digital marketing. Okay, so let's talk about traditional marketing and when you should use it. All right, again, so once your digital marketing services are kind of rolling, that's when you wanna do your traditional marketing because this is the reason. Most people now in 2022 and beyond Let's say they're driving down the road and they see a billboard for roofing services. And let's just say a strategy I do recommend later on down the road is getting multiple billboards, guerrilla market with, bill, I mean, just take over with billboards in an area. That can work. But what most people do is they see the billboard and they think, oh, you know what? We need to get a, con a roofing contractor to come out there and look at our roof. They're not gonna take a picture of your billboard and look you up specifically. They're just gonna think, oh, I need to get my roofing done. And what most people are gonna do, are gonna pull out their cell phone and Google roofing contractor in whatever area. And guess what? If you are not showing up on page one at Google, they're not gonna, they're not gonna select you. And basically you're doing free marketing for someone else that you're paying probably thousands of dollars per month for whoever's showing up first on Google. So you, you just can't do it. I'm not gonna tell you that's not gonna get any leads whatsoever and you're not gonna get any calls, but most likely what's gonna happen, and this applies to TV and radio as well, people hear, oh, I need to get my roof done and they're gonna Google and then call someone. And if you're not strong on your digital marketing already, you're just doing free advertising for other people. Now it all applies to radio, TV, whatever. Now the time and place to do it is again, once you're, dominating on social media, you're dominating in SEO, then you could add in these, these, these traditional marketing services and you can go nuts. Let's say that a big storm hits your area and you're, like I said, you're already strong on your digital marketing, you're getting some leads, 
then you can just spend all the money you want on billboards, TV, radio, try to get on TV shows. I wouldn't recommend doing the phone book anymore unless you live way out in the country. But then add in those traditional marketing services to tell people about, hey, come check us out. And then what they're going to do is they're going to hear your name on the radio. They're going to see your billboard. And then when they Google, they'll go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing TRT Roofing. I saw their billboard last week. Boom, I'm going to give them a call because you're also showing up on Google. Without that, guys, I'm telling you, you're just going to waste a massive amount of money. Put your money where it matters into digital marketing from the get-go, and let's save the dollars for traditional marketing later.